Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in linked list. So basically we are given a linked list, uh, this linked list and we need to basically rearrange it in in place, right? So in in place means basically uh, we are, we are, we need to change it in this format. So let's say this is my first element and this is my last element, right? So after first element, it should be the last element. So that is why uh, I have written it as uh, n minus one. So basically we can also write it as ln. Uh, so basically ln minus means the last element. So as you can see that this is my first element. After first element, I should have the last element. Then again, I should have the second element. Then again, I should have the second last element. And like this till the end, right? So if you see here that, uh, that first of all, I have this first element then I have this uh, last element, then I have again the second element, then second last element, then third element and then third last element, right? So given a linked list, I need to convert this into this format, right? And that's my aim, right? So uh, we'll see one by one. First of all, we'll see the logic that how we'll do it. Then we'll see through code that how we can implement it in Java. And then at last we'll see that what is the time complexity of this problem, right? So first of all, uh, what should be the logic, right? So uh, as we can see that first of all, we, at after first element, we need to write the last element, right? So somehow, somehow we need the, we need the uh, last element after first element. Then again, we need the second last element after second element. So what I can do, I can basically, first of all, I can basically break this complete list into two list, right? One list uh, till the middle element and the second list after and after middle element. And now I will reverse the second list so that I can have the access of the element from the last, right? So what I mean that like right now, like this, uh, I have six element, right? So first of all, my aim is to find out the middle element. So now uh, till middle element so that I can, so that I can, I can have the second list. So like in this case, I know my middle element will be this one because I have even element. So in even element, my middle element is this one, right? So it means my second element started after the middle element. So it means my, f my first element, my first list will be this one, two and three. And then I have this second list four, five and six, right? So this list can be achieved if I find out the middle element. So first of all, I will find out the middle element and then I will, I will have the second, uh, second list start node after the middle element, right? So this is my first aim to find out the middle element so that I can have two lists. Now I will basically reverse this list, my second list, right? So I have this six five and four, right? So now I have to list one list and this is my first list and this is my second list, which is in reverse now. So now if you check, I can simply take one by one element, one element from here and then one element from here. Then again, one element from here, one element from here, then again, one element from here and one element from here, right? So by this way, I can simply merge them into this manner. Right. So what I can do, uh, I will take, I will take a dummy node, right? So uh, I will take a dummy node. So let's say it the final list node. So first of all, I will take this dummy node like uh, this one. And now I will check until this list is not null and this, null, this list is not null. And I will check that if it, if this list has node, so first of all, add this, add the next of this one to the this node, right? Now one. And I will increase the, I will increase the node to this one. So let's say I will increase the node to this one and I will also increase the first list node to this one. So earlier my first list, so let's say my, this, this is my first list, right? This is my first list. So my first list is pointing to this one and my reverse list is pointing to this one. So after this one, I will increase the first list to this one and node one is also this one. Now, so one by one, I, first of all, I will check with the first list and now I will check with the reverse list. So again, I will check that if reverse list is not null, so add the, add the node of next to the reverse list. 
so now 6 will come here right after that uh, in the second iteration I will again check that first list is not null so again I will add the and in this case also I will increase I will update the reverse list to this one to next one right now again first list is not null so now it will append uh, 2 and then it will also increase the first list to this one similarly now after this that it will check for the reverse list so again reverse list is not null so it will append uh, 5 after 2 and it will increase reverse list to this this one now again similarly it will again iterate the 3 1 and after that it will be null right and similarly it will append the 4 and after that it will be null right so now uh, my first list is also null and my second list is also null so after that it won't do anything and it will have this right so as you can see that I have clearly uh, I have clearly uh, transform it into this this pattern and after that what I can do I can simply return final list dot next right so once you return this one so I will have this list as as my as my return right so this is equal to this pattern right so this is how we have solved this problem so what we did we first of all find out the middle element so that we can uh, convert it into two list and then I reverse this list so that I can have in this manner uh, for the last order for the last element is in first manner right so once I have observed once I have got this list and this reverse list then one by one I am fetching the node of both the list so first this one then this one then this one then this one then this one and then this one right and uh, this will also works fine in case of like this is I have even nodes but even if you have the odd nodes so this will also work fine so let's take uh, one example let's say if you have one two and three right so it means my answer should be first of all it should be one then three then two right because this is my first node then last node then second node right so what I will do as explained like this I will break into two lists so one two and three right so these are my two lists now uh, this is my first list and this is my reverse list so uh, now uh, I will what I will do I will basically take one by one one by one all the nodes from first of all from first list then from reverse list so first of all take list from here then uh, I will take one node from reverse so after that I will have this and reverse will be null so now again first list had nodes so I will append this one but there is no node in reverse list so that's it right so I can also convert the odd node or even node both by the same way right so this is how I will uh, this is the logic I will do it and what is the time complexity right so if you see that uh, first of all first of all I am I am finding out the middle element right so to identify the middle element my complexity is like O big of n right because I need to I need to take slow pointer and fast pointer and I can do it in big of one right so I will try it is here so to identify the middle node my complexity is big of n now to reverse this list the second list again my complexity is big of n because I can reverse it in big of n and then uh, one by one I am taking the nodes so effectively I am taking uh, I am iterating with n nodes because uh, here I have n plus n n by two nodes and here also I have n by two nodes right so I'm iterating once all nodes so again for this uh, I can write it as big of n right so if you talk about the overall time complexity which is big of n effectively right so this is big of n and if you talk about the space complexity so as such we are not using any space complexity is just that we are using a dummy code but we can take it as a constant so this is my time complexity and my space complexity is big of one because we are not using as such any space right so this is a logic and this is the time complexity and space complexity now let me show you that how we can do it through code so the same thing whatever I've explained I will explain using code as well so uh, let me explain you so this is uh, this is my code 
uh, rearrange the link list in in place so here i am passing the head node and this this is my uh, edge condition that if my link list is null or if it has only single node or if it has only two nodes right so because if it has only two nodes then again it will be same so in this case i can simply return head otherwise first of all i will find out the middle node right this is this is what i do first first of all i find out the middle node and then i say the next list will be the middle node of next right so this is my next list which is basically the uh, which is basically the next list and after that i reverse this list so I say this is my reverse list, right? And I take my first list as head, right? So these are the two list after first operation. So of first operation means finding out the middle one and after that reversing. So after reversing, I have two list, reverse list and first list. Now this is the dummy node that I was talking about that I will take a dummy node, final list equal to new node and I will take new node which is again pointing to that dummy node, right? So I will operate this until first list is not null or reverse list is not null, right? And I will check that if reverse list is not null, if first list is not null, so append the next of this to first list and increase both node and first list, right? So the same thing which I was explaining uh, here that uh, once you have once you have done this one, so once you have taken this first node, then increase the first node. And increase the node as well right so this is what is here happening here that if first list is not null then append this append the first list with the, the node which is our dummy node and increase the node by node of next and then first list by first list of next so now once we have done for the first list then we need to do for the reverse list as well because in one iteration we are solving we are adding both first list node and reverse list node right so the same thing we are doing that if reverse list is not null then append node of next to the reverse list and increase the node to node of next and reverse list to reverse list dot next right so uh, this is so this we do until first list is not null and reverse list is not null and after that we simply return final list dot next right so this is uh, this is how we do the problem so guys uh, i will also i will also put the source code of this in my description so you can fetch the source code from description and you can directly copy the source code so that will be uh, easy to you for to check that whether this code is working fine or not and so in the main code what we are doing we are simply first of all creating the we are inserting the element and after that we are calling this uh, rearrange link list in place and after that we are printing so if i run the code uh, you can see that my original list was 1 2 3 4 5 6 but after doing this i have converted it to 1 6 then 1 then last node then 2 then second last node then third then third last node right so uh, you can see uh, after after executing this code that how it is uh, working fine or not right but this is my main code this is a uh, rearrange list link, link list right so that's it guys about this video we have seen about the logic about the code and about the time complexities and space complexity and you can you can get the source code from the description i will put it there and guys if you have any question regarding this problem please write in the comment section and if you think that uh, is there any good approach than this or if there is and if we can solve it in efficient manner so please write also in the comment section we'll we'll see and that will be very useful for us so uh, that's it about this video and uh, thanks guys for liking it and please please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you